Hello, everyone. Hope you are well on a Monday night, kind of late on a Monday night. Time just flies away, doesn't it? It really does. I'm going to talk about whether or not we have the start of civil war tomorrow in the United States. A lot of people are talking about that. I'm also going to share a really good passage that I think you'll get a lot out of and uh, will be uh, a help to you. Uh, but first, there's a couple of things uh, that are going on that I, I want to just bring bring uh, to your attention and just kind of get your opinion on one thing, on a couple of things, too. First, I saw where Amazon is laying off more people, 9,000 people uh, that they're cutting. Uh, that's Amazon. Now, they used to be just the beast on the block that was untouchable, bulletproof. And uh, so far, it looks like they've had over 20,000 layoffs or people cut just in the last year, or really less than a year. So interesting, sign of the times maybe, probably. Uh, Facebook, I know, uh, has, has laid off, or they call it Meta now, um, that, that they've had a lot of layoffs too. Uh, a lot of tech companies are going through this. And uh, who knows what will happen with the, with the uh, financial, little financial crisis that's going on too, what that will spark. But we'll, be, we'll keep watching that, you know, daily. But uh, And then the other thing, homes and auto, you know, home and automobiles, they don't seem to be coming down. Now, that might depend on your location, especially with home, with the housing. But um, first, I'll do homes. I, you know, and I can only go by, you know, what I see, especially here, North Georgia, they're not coming down. Y'all, the, the prices aren't coming down. I heard people talking months ago, oh, it's going to crash. You know, you're going to be able to buy a house for $100, you know, like it was in 2015 or something like that. No, uh, they keep going up in price and add on to that the, the interest rate that keeps going up. And I don't see how people are doing it. I really don't. Uh, I, I just don't unless you have a lot you know, your cash buyer, or you have a lot to put down on one. Automobiles. They're, they just seem to be keep going up. I saw uh, where uh, the, the, the market is real tight on, on uh, used vehicles still right now because the new ones are still way overpriced and people are paying them. It is unreal. And now I think that is slowing down. I think the repo business the repo man business is probably very good right now and that will continue to be so be the case but uh i, I just don't see it i mean i, I know um people were saying that you could you'll, you'll be able to you know six months ago you'd be able to buy a car for cash a little cash but if it's gonna it hasn't happened yet now a year from now who knows but but so far the trend is it's not happening uh and that could be some supply chain things i don't i don't know for sure but um you know, I think automakers are keeping their uh, inventories kind of low, keeping the price up on some of these things. Uh, there's a guy at our church that uh, works for a Ford dealership here, and he was talking about how they had Ford Raptor. I said, this is a Ford F-150 Raptor, I guess the, the, the top sport line of that, you know, that of the F-150. Between 100 to 130 grand for this thing. Unreal. That is insane. You know, I mean... And I'm like, well, they're selling them pretty quick, huh? And he's like, people are fighting over it. You can't keep them on the lot. They're sold before they ever get there off the truck. The standard ones are like 78, 80 grand. Just, just your starting price. For an F-150, that's a pickup truck. I mean, it's not a Lamborghini. It's not a Corvette. I mean, I, I just, I don't see how they're doing it. I, I really do don't i really don't uh even used vehicles i mean one that's decent probably going to be 30 you know at least 30 grand 30 40 grand depending on on what it is um houses i mean even i know in this area still you know a, a little small little small place with hardly any property to it two three hundred grand minimum minimum if you're lucky if you can find them and that's probably without a place much to park or no garage, no cover, anything. And there's no telling what you'd have to do to get it. There's probably a lot of fixer upper at that. You'd probably get in there and have all kinds of things to repair. What a nightmare. 
we feel very blessed and lucky here to have gotten into a good place five and a half or so years ago when the prices were somewhat feasible. I mean, what a nightmare. I'd almost take my chances nowadays trying to rent, but then that's a, that's also rough. I know. I mean, from what I hear, good grief. Okay. Enough on that. Uh, tomorrow is tomorrow. The flashpoint is that, you know, the Trump, uh, indictment will that trigger uh will that be the flashpoint will that be a tipping point to trigger a, a mass event you know I, I i don't a lot of people are saying it could be um there's a lot of there's videos and, and and articles out there saying you know civil war watch and this and that i i i my uh my gut is no a big no I don't think much is going to come of it. I think if it goes through, now some people are saying uh, he's going to back off. His DA is not going to go through this. I think they are. They're going to they're going to go through this, and at least bring him in. But um, I don't think much will come of it as far as the reaction, as far as uh, violent protesters or anything like that. I think you could see some protesters, you know. But I believe it will be just your standard pro and anti going, you know, just yelling at each other maybe a little bit, but. I just, and I could be totally off. I could be totally off on this, but I, I just don't think it's going to be much to it. I really don't. I mean, if you really think about it, I mean, this guy is saying, you know, go, you know, what I'm talking about, uh, go protest for me. Uh, yet, uh, you're risking getting put in jail and the key thrown away and nobody's going to come and save you. You know, nobody's gonna come and save you. Look out for you. So why put it on the line? I, I, I wouldn't. Uh, so I don't think it's going to happen like that in this case. I really, really don't. Not this one. Um, who wants to be left out to dry and, and just, you know, with no hope? Uh, that's my thought on it. Um, uh, so, you know, then that begs the question, what is the, you know, well, dog, what is the flash bar? What, what, if this is not it, you think, see something, you know, <clears throat> see something in the future. It could always be something that comes out of a left field on us at any time. However, my thought is right now, uh, the next big thing I believe that could be a real concern of mine is the 2024 elections. Uh, I really, I really think that that could be a uh, something right there. I, I'm not going to go into detail, you know. Uh, you know, understand, but uh, I think that's something that I have a big concern about. I really, really do. That one could turn really bad and it could be on like Donkey Kong. Okay. It really, really could. More on that in the future, of course. We have some time before that. But, uh, you know, the trust is, is just eroding there. You know what I'm talking about. The trust, not there. It's not there. I think it's gone. So with that said, um, oh, yeah, share your thoughts on that. You know, what do you think? You know, what do you think about that? Is that a big concern of you, of yours? Or what will be the, you know, the, uh, the tipping point, so to speak? Okay, I have a very good verse to share. It is from, now this was the same uh, verse that was uh, highlighted on the Bible app. If you look uh, on your smart, if you have a smartphone on the Bible app, <clears throat> that's what it says. It'll, it'll have like a daily verse on there. Sometimes I pick one from there. It depends on what it is. This is a good one today. It says, it's from 3 John uh, chapter 1, verse 11 says, Beloved, do not imitate evil, but imitate good. Whoever does good is from God. Whoever does evil has not seen God. It's pretty plain and simple. There's a lot of evil out there. There's a lot of meanness out there, y'all. You probably see it, I know. But gosh, there's a lot out there. I mean, we were going somewhere this weekend. We were going through, uh, going around those roundabouts things, you know, in traffic. And, uh, you know, you have, to, you have to yield. You have to kind of watch. You know, you have to be alert there. Apparently, I wasn't going through the roundabout fast enough for the person behind me, and they laid on the horn <laughs> as they veered off the other direction from where I was going. I mean, come on. You know, really? 
I mean, really? <clears throat> now, the dog from uh, some years ago would have would have uh, you know given them the number one finger and uh, probably would have laid on the horn like big time. But I didn't do either. I didn't do that. Just kept going. And uh, that person needs prayer. You know what a sad life that person must be going through. I mean, I that's kind of sad in my opinion. Bless their heart. Anyway. But yeah, don't follow the meanness. Don't follow the evil. You know, uh, you know, align yourself. Be close to Jesus, and and imitate Him as much as possible. Do good. There is good out there. There is. All right. Share your thoughts. Let's take care. Be aware. Be careful out there tomorrow. God bless you. I'll see you soon.